today we'll be making a local favorite, sweet and sour fried fish. We will be using and featuring Ante Miley's Lily Koi Butter from Kauai. The first thing I do when I get a new product is taste it. This Lily Koi Butter from Ante Miley has the perfect balance of sweetness and fat and I immediately thought of a sweet, sour fish. Today's twist is a deconstructed sweet and sour sauce, which means we're gonna separate the lily koi sweetness and the sour. To do this, we're gonna use carrots and bell pepper to make like a namasu. And we're gonna lightly pickle the carrots and bell peppers in vinegar water, sugar, and homemade spice togarashi. To do our pickled bell pepper and carrots, we're gonna take equal parts of sugar, water, and vinegar, and about a tablespoon of spicy togarashi mix. Combine the carrots and the bell pepper into the mixture after a couple minutes of stirring, remove the carrots and bell peppers draining any excess liquid. Put in the fridge until we're about to plate. Today's fish is a long jaw soldier fish, also known as alaihi or alaihi mama. They're often found with mpachi and veil veil in the shallow reefs along Hawaii. We've already scaled and gutted this fish we pat dry with paper towels and get ready to make incisions for the fryer. The incisions here will help to get the fish crispy and crunchy. Here we take a couple toothpicks to place within the jaw and the belly of the fish. When frying, this helps to keep it separated. Although this is not necessary, it does help when I plate for the presentation. Salt and pepper your fish and then lightly dust with cornstarch. Try to shake off any excess cornstarch. Because of the sharp knives that this fish has, I'm flicking any excess cornstarch off. Put into the fryer 350 degrees and fry until golden brown. When your fish is done, remove from the pan and drain any excess oil on a rack or on paper towels. Once your fish has been drained of the oil, we prepare for plating. I thinly slice some spring onion I place the pickled carrot and bell pepper mixture onto the plate and put the alaihi mama on top. We take Ante Miley's lily koi butter and dot around the plate with a green onion garnish. To finish this dish, we garnish with roasted black and white sesame seeds and a little bit of cilantro. Here we have my take on a local favorite, deep fried fish with a deconstructed sweet and sour with lily koi butter sauce.